everyone, this is uh, Dr. Ezra with Integrative Kidney Solutions, and today I'm going to be talking to you and interview uh, uh, Desiree Ouellette. Desiree is uh, well known in our community here locally, and uh, she has been a pioneer in uh, yoga um, and practices in our community. So. Um, she will be joining us shortly, and uh, I will add her to this uh, interview. Um, we're going to talk mainly about how yoga and uh, meditation can help patients with uh, kidney disease and uh, maintain kidney health. So uh, that's exciting and a prospect that uh, not a lot of people know. So um, hopefully she will be able to uh, shed some light into this um, uh, soon. And, um, and, and uh, explain to you uh, why yoga and meditation is important for um, you know, your health in general and for uh, the health of patients with kidney disease. So uh, uh, Desiree uh, actually um, been uh, very active in our community and uh, pioneered uh, yoga, as I mentioned. Um, and she... Um, uh, had a practice called Holos Yoga that I believe she ended up uh, uh, selling um, and now she has a uh, yoga retreat um, that she goes all throughout the world and travels to cool places actually so um, she has uh, uh, been doing yoga for several years and uh, and we are going to have her join us now so um, So let's see if uh, we're able. Hi. Hi. It worked. Yes. It worked. <laughs> I figured it out. Great, great. How are you, Desiree? I was just introducing you to our viewers here uh, today, and um, I was telling them about your experience before. So, uh, but I want to give you the platform now to tell us a little bit about you and what you do, and with your experience in yoga all throughout the years. Okay, um, I have been teaching yoga for almost 10 years now. Seems like I just started, <laughs> goes by fast. Um, yoga has been so beneficial for me physically. Before I started teaching, I, I had a lot of injuries from a couple car accidents and, and um, was not doing too well. So I started practicing yoga and it changed my life drastically. So I decided to start teaching. I wanted to get into psychology. So I was going to school and uh, decided that I can help people through yoga. So I went the yoga route. And okay. my other passion is travel, as mm -hmm. you were saying. Uh, I was trying to count the countries that I've been to. So 30 in 30 something, I believe. Oh, you're countries. Me. So I combined my passion of yoga with travel and teach international retreats now. Perfect, perfect. So uh, think about. I mean, I am really I'm guilty because I don't. I'm supposed to do you know, yoga and meditation, and I. I'm busy and I don't get the time. And unfortunately, you know, even a little bit of time, hopefully we can get to, to learn about it. And we've been, you know, communicating all over, you know, all throughout the years trying to collaborate. So it's finally, you know, great that we're able to, to do this interview and it's very exciting for us. So yeah. consider me a layman and I have no idea what yoga is and what is, you know, so tell us what yoga is and what's behind the yoga philosophy. Well, I'll make it uh, brief. It's, <laughs> it's quite challenging um, to understand fully. I have taken a lot of philosophy classes and it's very difficult to understand, but yoga, uh, I've heard yoga has, was originated in India about 5,000 years ago. And it's yoga, the word yoga means to yoke, to unite. It's a mind, body, spirit practice. And in India, it is more of a, um, not more of an asana or a 
posture practice, it's more to liberate the body and the mind mm -hmm. or the mind uh, for meditation. In the West, it's focused more on asana or uh, postures. There are still some yeah. that um, mm -hmm. practice the holistic approach, spirit, mind, body, but it's uh, in the West, it's popular for the asanas or the pa postures. Great, great. So can you tell us a little bit why yoga is important for our body and for our mind in your view? For our body and mind? Yeah, both. <laughs> um, well, the mind, gosh, I have a, a mind that's always going, keeping me awake. Um, that's another re thing that got me into yoga is I found that when I practice, I'm so focused on the breath. There's the ujjayi breath that um, when I teach, uh, we, I talk a lot about the breath, the moving from one posture to the next with the breath. So you're so focused on the breath and flowing from one posture to the next that your mind clears. Um, and then also, of course, breathing is very important for the body. And then the body part, the asana part is strengthening and stretching and blood flow circulation throughout the body and, and the organs. There's a lot of twisting, forward folds, balancing. So it's balancing for the body and balancing for the mind. So it, it certainly helped relieving a lot of stress that we, we go through on our daily life. And especially here in the West, our life is so you know, crammed in hours yes. and, and we're doing a million things. So, uh, you know, I know you've, you've done some research on this too, and there are some research that, you know, and this is where I come from, is, is that there are research that says that yoga and meditation and breathing techniques can help with, you know, like risk factors that are actually associated with kidney disease so, you know, I know blood pressure is one of those and, and diabetes. So can you tell us a little bit about how yoga can affect, you know, blood pressure and, and help patients with, with elevated blood pressure? Well, um, from what I've read is, is uh, by lowering stress levels, it can help lower blood pressure also. That's um, the main thing is um, stress. And I can give an example with my husband. Mm -hmm. He, uh, a few years ago, he went to the doctor. He had really high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, hypo, hypothyroid, and he, the doctor said he needed to go on medication. So he said, give me three months with yoga and diet. And he went to yoga th four to five days a week, changed his diet, healthier eating, and went back and had all of his labs done, and they all were normal. So he's, oh, wow. he's a good example. I like yeah, to use that yeah, him as yeah, an example. Yeah, yeah so... Um, yeah, I mean, for, for our... stress levels. Yeah, go ahead. What's that? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I was just going to say that actually, for people who don't know, there are actually 49 controlled trials that looked at uh, blood pressure and its effect, uh, and yoga and its effect on blood pressure. And, and there are data that actually breathing techniques... Um, not particularly the, the, the uh, asana thing that you mentioned, the, the body postures, but the meditation part of it, decreased stress, and, and there are data that it can lower blood pressure by 11, uh, you know, over six, the systolic blood pressure can drop by 11 uh, points. And this is really amazing. I mean, like, the, if there's a drug that can lower the blood, blood pressure by that much, you'll see ads on TV all over the news, <laughs> yes. you know, so, so it, it's purely amazing uh, things and, and people don't know this. And this is, so we're excited that you're, you're talking to us about that. The, yeah. So how, how does it also affect, do you have any idea about uh, data about how it works with, with diabetes control? Do you, do you have another example, you know? I hope has, your husband doesn't have well, diabetes. Well, he, <laughs> um, he was told he was pre-diabetic. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so um, all of his uh, blood levels, lab, labs were normal after practicing consistently and changing his diet. Um, with diabetes, you know, yoga is known for helping lower stress levels, cortisol, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the stress hormone. And by reducing that and with yoga, the asanas and the breathing techniques, the pranayamas, um, and of course, yoga makes you more aware 
of your eating habits. Mm -hmm. And so if you're eating healthier and taking care of your body and your mind, that can help lower the stress levels, the cortisol levels, the diabetes, um, you know, especially if you're pre-diabetic. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you know, there's also, I, I can jump in here too, and, and there are data that actually yoga can stimulate insulin uh, production and improve blood supply to the muscles. Like you mentioned, the, the circulation to the muscles will be improved, and that will also lower, lower insulin resistance. And, and that way also can people who are interested in, the, in the how, you yes. know, that how this uh, yoga can um, decrease, you know, or, or help uh, controlling blood sugar levels too. So, yeah, I mean, great examples. And, and again, I mean, I'm not talking, and you're not talking about, you know, just our experiences. These are proven data in the literature, publishable, published and, uh, and proven. So, so we're not coming up with, with just, um, you know, things that we're, we're, we're making up here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. so, so, you know, the, considering that, I mean, there's no doubt that if, if you control, I mean, between high blood pressure and diabetes, these are 70% of the causes of kidney disease. So there is no doubt that, you know, you know yoga and, and meditation can help, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, help uh, controlling, uh, lowering the progress, decreasing the progression of kidney disease and help maintaining kidney health. The, the, are you aware of like studies that looked at yoga and, and, and meditation and, and, and specifically looking at kidney disease? Um, I was just uh, reading one last night. I'm terrible at quoting like yeah. studies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a yoga teacher, uh, not a doctor. <laughs> I'll jump in but, here. <laughs> I was uh, reading one last night um, on the Journal of Nephrology and Therapeutics. Mm -hmm. And they, they had quite a lengthy um, study on there. Um, you know, it can help by, you know, lowering blood pressure like you were talking about, which helps the kidneys. Mm -hmm. um, I keep repeating the same thing, lowering stress levels, mm -hmm. using um, breathing techniques, pranayama, um, to help lower um, blood pressure and um, help with other issues that come along with kidney disease. Yeah, I mean, and, and for people who don't know, I mean, there are actually also studies. I mean, I, the, the study looked at kidney disease are not as robust as, like I mentioned, 49 studies looked at the blood pressure. So certainly lowering blood pressure can be a, a big factor in preventing and, and delaying the progression of kidney disease. But uh, yeah. there are there are studies that looked at, you know, the waste product that, you know, we're talking about BUN and creatinine that we measure kidney function from, that yoga led to a significant reduction in the BUN and creatinine in addition to, you know, to its effect on the blood pressure control, as I mentioned. So, so yeah, I mean, actually, you know, people who are on dialysis, you know, and we, th we think of those that, you know, it's over, it's done. But even those, they can benefit from yoga and, and meditation and, and help them, uh, you know, have better quality of life. Actually, specifically, this quality of life issue is, is a major issue for kidney disease patients, yes. uh, psychologically and physically. So, so yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so we, you know, we're, we're, before we finish, I, I want to, you know, you know, ask you if you don't mind demonstrating to us like uh, some basic breathing technique that, uh, or, or technique that, you know, help you know, of your practice. And I, I don't want to go into like, you know, details, but something basic that you can demonstrate here to us uh, if you don't mind. Okay. As long as you join along. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have, have you tried alternate nostril breathing? It's nope. a pranayama. It's also called Nadi Shodana. I like to use this in, well, in any a class before class. or um, I'll use it a lot in restorative. And it's a technique where we breathe in one nostril and out the other. And it helps to balance the right and left hemispheres of the brain. Hmm. Uh, reduction of anxiety and stress. It lowers the heart rate. Um, regulation of the cooling and warming cycles of the body and it helps prepare for deeper meditation and relaxation 
And I'll quickly show you. You take yeah. your right hand and your palm is facing your face. Take your pointer and center finger, take them together, bend your fingers. So you're gonna use your thumb and your ring finger, your thumb to plug your right nostril, your left, I mean your ring finger to plug your left. Okay. okay so you plug your right and inhale through your left, filling up. Plug your left, so both are plugged. Exhale through your right. Now inhale through your right, fill up. Plug both. Exhale through your left. And then inhale, fill up, last one. Plug bowl. Exhale through your right. And go ahead and release. So you can I do that. Lots another <laughs> five, yeah, another five to ten times. Do that with your eyes closed. Do it slow, filling up. You can count, start with a count to five, five, five breaths in and then exhale and then build up um, maybe to 10 breaths. That's great. So and maxim, any maximum on, on this technique particularly, like 10 breaths is, is max, you think? I don't know if I've ever heard, uh, I'm sure there's a maximum, but okay. <laughs> pro probably, probably 10 I, I, okay. I do. Yeah, I think I think I'll get also more relaxed when I get rid of my pager, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but th that that will help definitely. Uh, so I'll I'll start practicing this, um, and for our viewers, you can start practicing these at home um, also. So really, it's important to we're not making this up. This is stuff that are in the literature. Yoga and meditation, breathing techniques can help you uh, lower your stress level, lower your cortisol level, improve insulin. Uh, uh, level and, and decrease uh, resistance, um, insulin resistance in the tissue and help uh, keeping your, your body healthy, your mind healthy, your kidneys healthy. Uh, and this is where I come along. So, uh, and, you know, I, I really want to thank you so much, Desiree, for joining us today. I, uh, I, thank you. Know, you. I, I'm, I'm so blessed that we, we finally got to, to, to do this. Uh, yeah. I want to give you a few moments to put a plug for your business because I know you <laughs> you uh, you do a lot of things. So go ahead and, and talk, tell our, our uh, viewers what uh, what you do. Well, thank and, you. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, I love to travel and I love to teach yoga and I love to teach yoga retreats. So I started a business called Yogi Adventure Retreats. So if you want to join me somewhere in the world, um, look me up. And I also teach at Holos Yoga and Wellness um, in Longview, Washington. I started that in 2012, but sold it a couple years ago. It's the only infrared heated studio in the area. So thank you Great. so much for allowing yeah. me to talk. Thank I'm you. I'm getting used to these live videos. This is the second time I've done a live video. There you go. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll also, when, when we have it... Uh, Recorded. I'll I'll send you the the video to uh, for your viewers to keep it okay. on on your site. So thank you once again so much for this. Uh, I really appreciate it. For our viewers, uh, if you uh, want to learn more about integrative approach to kidney disease, please join us. Uh, subscribe to our letter at www.inkidney.com. You can also find us on YouTube at Integrative Kidney Solution, and we're here on Instagram every day at Integrative Kidney. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Namaste. We'll see you next time. Namaste.